Hello everybody, this is a Shadowbox, and welcome back to Farming Simulator 2013. How are you guys doing today? Now right off the bat, you probably noticed something new. One, we have a huge heaping pile of potatoes. <clears throat> As it happens, we also have a huge heaping pile of corn. And that is because I have gone through one harvest since we were together last. And, uh, we also have a new shed. This is the Morton... Uh, here, I'll just show you. Whoops, wrong menu. Do 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 do. Placeable mods. It's this, the Morton 100 by 200 barn. Um, well, we just needed a new place to uh, store all store all of our new equipment. Um, just go over some of the stuff. I think I might have bought a couple extra things since last time. Where's that door trigger? There it is. Alright, so I bought two new tra two new uh, these tractors, this one with the front end loader, just to uh, help move stuff around the yard. Uh, I bought this grain train for the potatoes, for the uh, potato harvester, because uh, the potato harvester arm is not high enough for one of the semi-trailers. And here's where we have our potato harvester and cedars. And over in this barn here. These guys like to slide around, but this is where we have our semis now. They like to uh, slide around a little bit. Like I, sp I parked them like up here, and they slid all the way to the back wall, but it's alright. They don't slide around on the normal map, just in this barn. Um, I am I'm thinking that I want to save up uh, like the next thing I want to buy. I'm reasonably sure I want it to be another one of the large uh, tractors. So we can have, you know, two of them. <laughs> Great reason, right? Now, just so we can... If I remember, there it is. Uh, so we can have some of the bigger jobs be done two at once instead of one at a time like they have been. Alright, so let's... Kind of loud there. So normally I show you guys when there's a harvest to be done. Today I figured I would show you what it looks like to turn over a field. And uh, I mean I know you guys probably already know this, but I've gotten a few comments asking for a farming, a new farming simulator video, and uh, I figured I could oblige. So let's go ahead. We need more chaff for our cows, so we'll be able to go ahead and uh, reseed corn, even though I just uh, pulled it off these fields. Alright, that guy is going. Let's see how much one of those tractors is really quick. Or how much those tractors are. Whatever. Um. Do, 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 do. Here they are. Around 215. Something like that. 230. Alright. Hmm. Hopefully these tractors that I have over here will be strong enough to pull those cultivators. Let's find out. I've also figured out how to have uh, two workers on the same field. 
It's not actually course play that does it. It's another mod called Hireable Tools. Which I had, which I was totally misunderstanding. I thought Hireable Tools was the mod that lets you uh, basically rent equipment from the uh, from the store. So yeah, in real life, I'm not sure how well this tractor would pull this huge cultivator, but uh, it seems to be doing all right with it in the game. That's what matters right now. Is that front weight? That front weight's lowered, isn't it? Yeah, that was weird. What's even weirder is the road is sticking up right there. I never noticed that before. Let's leave this guy here for now. Um, I've also changed out... I was using the large manure pack before. I believe I showed you guys a little bit of that. Well, whoops. Wrong thing. Um, however, at the advice of my friend uh, WP Docket, I switched to the Zune Hammer pack. And I'm enjoying this a lot. Um, there's more to do with it even though the the area covered in one pass is not quite as large. You can see, uh, this is the supply, the mobile supply tank here. I've been keeping this filled with slurry. But we'll just go, we, we will be using this tool in a moment. Well, not in a moment, in a little bit. So we will go ahead and detach it if I... Do I have to manually detach the PTO first? Um... For some reason it's not letting me detach the trailer. Hello, Nick. Um... I was having this issue before, and I s oh wait, I have to come back here and actually, yep. Weird. Grab a front weight. I'll show you guys that hireable tools mod. Get rid of that now.
Alright, well, let's just leave this tractor running for a second. And we'll come over here and get this guy going first. Alright, and then, oh, track count, two. Yeah, so you set how many, uh, how many different things you're going to have on here with a maximum of three, because you can only hire three workers at once. So, we'll go ahead, we're using two workers. Uh, we don't really want to set any headland, because we don't really need to. You, you can set headland if you're going to have obstacles. And then you just hire the worker. Um, for some reason, the hired worker has decided it would be a good idea to fold up the cultivator. Wait, this is a plow, is it? I don't know. Because it's de it looks like it's defertilizing as well. No, it's not defertilizing. It's just been so long since I've seen just a cultivated texture and not a cultivated seeded texture. <laughs> okay. Oh. So now he's going. Let's come back here. And get this guy going as well. He doesn't want to go. Go. Nope. Lower. There we go. There we go. We had a little bit more success with that one. Let's, let's see. The other guy was at, what, 17%? You can move him to 20, I think. So now if we watch, remember those light posts aren't actually, like, there. We will skip over the row, or at least you should skip over the row that the other guy's on. Alright, sorry about that little jump there. Something popped up I need to take care of. But as you can see... Everything is working out just fine with uh, two tractors working on the same field. And it looks like our other tractor is just about done. Pretty good timing. So we're going to have to reset him on the next field.
No fancy new add-ons for you today, Mr. Large John Deere. Just, uh, you get to do your everyday work. Alright, now we're, while we're waiting for those other two... Uh, while we're waiting for the two cultivators to finish up, we should probably restock the, uh... Yeah, get that, get this hose back in the... There we go. We should go restock our uh, holding tank for the slurry by the field. So where is the... Right, it's on the back here. Let's pull in close. We need to reconnect all the hoses, because all the hoses like to disconnect when the game shuts down. Fill it up. I wonder what the capacity of this thing is. Alright, that's probably good enough. Let's detach that hose. Get back in the truck. And we'll get another batch of slurry ready because uh, that Zune Hammer goes through liquid manure extremely fast. Now you do just fill this the normal way. You know, pull up and hit R to refill, I believe. I'm actually not sure. Let me test something really quick. Can we attach... Nope. Nope. It's worth a try. Would have been cool. I wonder how many pigs I have. Quite a lot of pigs is the answer. Wow. Probably take care of that soon. Let's see, uh, our load. Sorry, yeah, our. Uh, this isn't loads. No, this is load status mod. 
um, Load Status Mod is telling us that all of our workers are still hired and have not completed their tasks yet. And we'll just get this guy ready to refill again. We'll leave our hazards on. Just on the off chance that the milk that the milk truck happens to drive by or something. Let's see. That guy's still going. You know what we can do is switch over to this guy right here. Uh, wrong button. There we go. Our greenhouses need manure as well. Our pigs need some earth fruit. Some potatoes. And some grain. Come on, buddy. Fill up. There's a lot of potatoes. Um, 100%. <laughs> Dump the rest of this back into the stockpile. We still have some wheat left over from our last harvest, so let's go ahead and sell some of this. We're not, sorry, not sell. Feed it to the pigs.
And I've also figured out a... Uh, I figured out what I want to do for the subscriber challenge to uh, get a subscriber the chance to play with me and some of my friends. So stay tuned for an announcement video for that. Um, because I, you know, I don't want to tell you guys and then have the flight sim people be disadvantaged or tell the flight sim people and then have you guys be disadvantaged. So make sure you keep an eye out for that video. probably need water too, don't they? Let's see. I mean, I know they need water, but are they actually out? Yeah, they're actually out of water. And silage. Well, I don't have any silage to give them right now. But I can get them some water. We've got... Nope, one of our... Uh... Oh, both of our... Cultivators have stopped, so we'll actually take care of those first. Alright, they are up here. There's still a patch down here that was not covered. some damage to my F1, or not F1, F350 there. It's alright, it'll buff out. Let's go put back the cultivator. Now we gotta get into the shed and grab those potato seeders. Let's get this door open. So are you guys looking forward to Farming Simulator t uh, 15? The new trailer was released a few days ago. It looks pretty good to me. I hear that, and it, it looks like, well, it looks like the 
the new trailer is actual gameplay, and it looks like a new physics and a new graphics engine. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, I'm, I mean, obviously I'm going to be disappointed about the lack of mods at first, but I'm sure the modding community will come together and get us quality mods quickly. Well, I mean, maybe not as quality as these John Deere tractors right away, but still. I know my friend Kyle, the mod maker, um, he, uh, he's not looking forward to 15 yet because he doesn't want to convert his mods over from 13 to 15. And, you know, it's a valid, it's a valid reason. That's a lot of work. Oh, looks like we got paid by the windmill a few minutes ago. <laughs> Almost tipped over there, that would not have been good. There we go. Oh, this is out of seat. You better refill it. I know you don't need to refill it when you hire a worker, but it just looks better. Uh, the potato seeders look better when they're filled. That's good enough. Now this is the real reason why I got the hireable tools, because just one of these cedars on one of these fields would take forever. But with two of them on, it's not too bad. I want to set a little bit of an overlap just to make sure that we don't miss any here. Right, pop that up to let's hire the worker. And we are going and crank it up to 25%. Two, hire the worker. Let's crank it up to 25%. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Actually, let's set this guy just a slightly slower, so just so we uh, know there's not going to be any collisions.
So now we've got potatoes being planted. The rest of that field needs to be fertilized and our pigs need water. So let's take care of the pigs first. Or actually, let's not. Let's just put this away. I'll take care of the greenhouses and stuff off camera. I want to show you guys that, uh, the Zunhammer fertilizer. go and now we need a tractor well this is pretty much the only tractor I have left I guess I've got the one before but whatever Looks like the seating is going all according to plan. Attach that PTO. Oh, this is a pain with an articulated tractor. Whoa. Especially because the trailer is so small compared to the tractor. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Whoa. Just, do I have the GPS mod enabled? Yes, I do. Um, what is it? Is it? Nope, that's that's the wrong button. Um, left control and hit that. That's right. Okay. Now, how do I enable the? Now you hold down control. Okay. Auto work with that. I'll let the computer get us lined up because the computer's smarter than I am. Eh. 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 Okay. Now it's on. And now, go. Now, yeah. Why is it offset? Oh, right, because I tried to... Then it's working out. Now we're going to... Let's not drive too fast. Well... I don't 
don't know why it says to not drive too fast. If I do level one, it's going too fast. See if I can get rid of that offset because that's kind of annoying. Um, offset zero. strip there that's not fertilized, but it's not the end of the world. Get flipped around here, and turn on the sprayer again. So you can see what I mean by like it uses up liquid manure really fast compared to uh, the fertilizers using the fertilizer. So after this pass, we're going to have to go refill the fertilizer. Hopefully that won't give the, uh, hopefully that won't be sufficient time for the cedars to catch up.
Is that good? Yep, that's good. are actually kind of catching up. percent on each pass. Sorry, I'm just kind of like lost in the thought there and thinking about that subscriber contest. Hmm. I'm also wondering if I should tell you guys about it now. Nah. Don't worry. 
very shortly after this video is live, there will be an announcement video. It won't be anything hard, it won't be anything crazy. It should be something almost anyone can do. Especially because I will tell you how to do it. doesn't really require any, spe any kind of specialized skills. I thought about making it, uh... Uh-oh. Oh, no. I broke it. I wonder if I can... Do I need this? I might be able to just do it this way. Too far away. I'd like to fix that docking station though, because it is easier than getting in and out of the tractor. I'm forgetting I have to switch to the back tool to actually deploy it. Tired workers sure are costing a pretty penny though. We spent like over ten thousand dollars on them in just the last twenty minutes. Maybe I should be a hired farm agent. GPS mode now. Let's go down here and let's 
let's fill this up so it's all ready to go for next time and then we'll put it in. Probably fix this at some point. I probably won't though. Far too lazy. Oops. Oh yeah, this tractor doesn't fit in here. That's why it's not in there. Duh. There we go. Now the truck up here. Let's go ahead and... Can I flip that with myself? No, I can't. Okay. So let's go ahead and refill this as best as we can. Yeah, we pretty much drained our storage tank there. That was just like half the field that we did too. The other half was already done. I really wish I had a trailer that was just like big and held a lot that I could use to just like completely refill this thing with one pass. Alright, and that's that all emptied. There we go. And then next time I'm ready to fertilize, I'll just bring another trailer up. So I'll just go ahead and park this up for now.
Good timing, our first seater is about to finish his last pass. Let's crank up the speed on. closer together, could we? Well, let's get this guy back to the farmyard. You can refill your potato seeders from potato things? Whoa. I did not know that. That's pretty cool. This guy parked up in the shed. I don't think I've parked this guy in the shed yet. I think he's always been out in the field. store just cuz. And the last tractor. I'll, also I figured out what key it is to start the tractor without having to actually turn the key. It's numpad enter. I didn't know that because it's not like listed in the keys. Alright so that is all of our fields freshly sown and fertilized. Goodness, how funny it would have been if this if that uh if the cedar was lowered and I didn't realize it and I just planted over all of that corn with potato. Let's go ahead and fill this up just because it looks better. Cool. I can't believe I never knew that. Oh, 
Well, I don't think... Ah, there's still plenty of room in this shed. Let's say I don't think we'll be able to fit much more in this shed, but actually, we can. And we probably will. But for now, let's go ahead and get everything closed up. And that'll do it for this episode. Thank you everybody for watching, and until next time, I'm a Shadowbox. This has been Farming Simulator 2013, and have a good one, guys.